Hello Taurus, hope you guys are doing good. We are taking a look at your energies for July 2022. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, so take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Messages of light and love come forward for Taurus spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. Five of Cups in the recent past here. Ace of Swords, clarity coming in, a deeper understanding of why things are the way they are at this moment. We have a Queen of Cups, could be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Hermit, Three of Wands. So you guys may have spent quite a, you may have been in hermit mode for a while here, Taurus. Um, you have a new love coming in really quickly. You've gone through some kind of a, it's like this moment of clarity came here. Um, so you've had a recent deeper inner knowing. And as soon as that has happened, you have this, Beautiful, loving energy surrounding you. Queen of Cups. And it brings in, it ends up drawing in this new love. So let's get some additional clarity here. We'll start at the beginning. Why is this Five of Cups here, Spirit, for Taurus? We have the Fool. Aries energy. We have the Hierophant Taurus energy. We have the Nine of Wands. So you may have had somebody here. <laughs> Your person is afraid of commitment, okay? They didn't want to make a commitment to you, okay? Um, so this has been really sad to experience. You've not enjoyed. It's like a, you may stop and restart with your person back and forth. Um, <laughs> They pulled away. It's like they may have made a promise to you or made made you feel like the relationship was going to go farther than it did. And then they pulled back. Why is this Ace of Swords here, Spirit? So <clears throat> you guys would rather be on your own than have to be with somebody who is flaky. <laughs> I mean, I do not blame you, Taurus. Wheel of Fortune is here. And the devil. So this person, yeah, this may have made you very frustrated with them, okay? But this person may have, like, some addiction types of issues here. They may drink too much. They may um, sh go shopping too much. There's any number of toxic energies here. Um, but you may have been very frustrated with this person. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys kicked them all out, you know. Whatever happened here, something happened where they were off this wheel of fortune. They got kicked off this wheel um, because of this toxic energy. Tell me more about this devil here, spirit. What's this all about? What's... Okay. So you may have suspected this, that this person had a third party. There was some kind of third party interference here. The wheel of karma had to turn. You may have, um, it may have been revealed to you about this person's, why this person doesn't want to commit. Their fear of commitment because there may have been another person interfering with your relationship. Hmm. It's like this person runs from person to person and like, it doesn't mean like person to person, like they could. Um, so take it how it resonates for your situation. But I feel like this person runs to get attention from different people. And once they feel that, you know, something solid starts to happen with this individual, like that then the relationship is growing and that um, they they feel like they're going to be required to like, 
settle down, they freak out <laughs> and they want to run. Why is this Queen of Cups here? But you just have this, such this beautiful energy, a uh, loving energy around you, Taurus. You're happy at this time. We have the Chariot energy, Cancer energy. Moving forward very quickly in a positive direction, surrounded by love. Maybe this is a new person that you're coming into alignment with, somebody who is going to give you the type of commitment and the type of attention that is healthy. Yeah, Ace of Swords coming in again. I think that what's happening here is that it's possible this, this person is coming back to you having this moment of clarity as well. It's like you have this moment of clarity and then within days they have this clarity and then they come wanting to rush back in. And when I say rush, I mean rush. They want to quickly get a hold of you. They've been in hermit mode as well, trying to, like, whatever happened with this third party, it, I don't know what happened with it. <laughs> and it doesn't even have necessarily have to be that they cheated. They may have been out with friends drinking too much and at the bar all the time. Like, whatever's happened here, I think that... They've received some kind of clarity about who you are to them. They have a deep love and respect for you here, Taurus. Okay, but I feel like you guys have like decided that you just want to keep moving on. You don't want to entertain this person anymore. They're, they, if they don't know what they want, then they should just like leave you alone, <laughs> you know? They feel guilt though. They feel guilt over how they treated you here. They want your forgiveness. They're probably going to come and ask for, for your forgiveness. They want to apologize. We have the temperance card here. So you guys may be wondering, like, when is this happening? In divine timing, I feel like the more you get into this love vibration, the more you draw people to you that, you know, they want your energy, of course. And so it comes in pretty quickly with this chariot card and this knight of swords here. Something here is on acceleration as soon as you let this person go letting go of this toxicity i think you guys have been spending a lot of time taking care of yourself nine of pentacles the self-love spending time with your own friends focusing on your job whatever it is for you a new hobby you've been focusing on taking care of you three of wands here the hermit Letting go of this hermit energy. So you're coming out of your shell. Coming out of your shell and looking good. Feeling great and very attractive. Aura you have surrounding you here, Taurus. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups here. Yeah, somebody's coming in here with an offering. Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you something here. Possibly... I'm going to take you out to dinner. King of Cups is here. Or, excuse me, Knight of Cups. This is all about this person wanting to pursue you again. But they also may be keeping their options open as well. So just be aware of that, Taurus. You may want to keep your options open. If this person is going to keep their op options open, then you can keep yours open as well, right? There's healing energy coming in here. I feel like you guys are like, yeah, I'll keep my options open, but I'm actually really okay on my own. I've healed from this person. They really, like, did a number on me. They kept me in a, dep kept you, kept me. They kept you in a depressive state here. Whatever has happened, you guys may have had a new beginning, and then it quickly kind of came apart, and it put you in this low depression vibe for a while. But it gave you enough time to really reestablish your own footing, get on your own Get on a healthy track towards success. Putting down anything that wasn't serving you, Taurus. I feel like you have spent, spent time working on yourself. Beautiful. You may have been helping other people as well during this time that you've been separated from this person. So 
You've accomplished a lot during this time that you've been in separation for them from them. I do feel like they may have held you back in the past. Um, you may like you got stuck in this kind of loop. They weren't really wanting to give you what you needed to hear in terms of how are we moving this forward? Are we going to, you know, m like move in together at any point? Or there's just like, there's always this question mark in the air with this person. And then they want to come rushing back in when they see that you have, they're missing a good thing. They don't want to lose you. They don't, they don't want to lose their Taurus. Mm. But what, uh, the beauty of this, Taurus, is that you're staying staying in this high vibe no matter what, what this person's decision is. I think you're taking your time to try and figure out whether or not you want to take this person back. Um, you're also wanting to remain in this self-love, higher vibration, and you don't want them to bring you down anymore. If they're going to bring their toxicity or any of their issues into the relationship you you don't want that you don't want to go back to how things were before and you would need some kind of solid offering here the page of pentacles is here this is really good energy about them offering you something but i don't know if it's going to be enough for you to really believe that this person is setting aside their options and wanting to move forward here i do sense that maybe your person just wants you to be there and they're not going to they're not really willing to relinquish their other connections they've made you know and I, I just don't feel like you want to play that anymore but you do have this new love with them you know if you feel so bonded with them you can't really turn them away it appears but you're learning to maintain balance right you're learning to prevent this person from taking over your good nature um, I believe that you're letting go of expectations, Taurus, you know, um, in your mind, your mind is constructed how you would want this relationship to progress and it just didn't do that. So at this point, I feel like you may be setting boundaries or verbalizing to your person what it is that you want from a relationship. And if they aren't going to be on that same page, then maybe it's best that you guys not continue any further you know but at the same time the passion and the love is there <laughs> there's undeniable chemistry between the two of you and it's like you can't say no to them but this person is wearing a mask okay just be aware of that they try to create this illusion of them wanting to really work on this relationship and wanting to progress forward but i feel like you're using your intuition to de to determine the authenticity of this person's offer are they actually coming forward in a legit fashion or are they just wanting to play more games they they say they've healed in some way that they're changing their ways in some way um, but they're also telling you that there you know you may have suspected that there was a an affair some of them may have had an affair but a lot of them were just running around with friends involving themselves in new projects you know a lot of different you know, going hiking and doing their own thing um, without you it just felt like they didn't really want to it was like this they kept this relationship in a holding pattern you know they didn't really have any intention of bringing this into a, a deeper level of commitment so i do feel like they are wearing a mask here taurus they don't want to lose you so that's why they're rushing in here so i take your time i would say um just don't let this person shake your foundation i there there may have been some healing on their part but i don't know that it is really even still in alignment with what you want you know so just know that <clears throat> You can keep your heart open and and love this person, but at the same time, don't just don't get your hopes up or keep your expectations like no expectations here, because this person has already showed you what it is that they they want from you. They haven't proven themselves otherwise. They haven't given you any kind of indication that this is going to move forward with a commitment. So, with that being said, 
them rushing in is showing you that it's, they're afraid of losing you. There's some kind of fear-based, yeah, nine of wands. They have a fear of commitment, but they also have a fear of losing you. It's like fear-based. Um, and so that's not really an authentic foundation for a healthy relationship, <laughs> right? If they came at you slowly and wanted to work with you and they show signs of wanting to commit or even making plans for your future together. None of that seems to have happened here. When they rush in, they may like talk a game about that a bit, uh, but you could see right through that, <laughs> Taurus. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if it resonated for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.